John Allen. South African and Scottish rugby international John Allen against founding warriors second row Tony Tutupu. Here they come. Oh, look at him. John Allen, he looks amped. And look at that posture. He looks very psyched. Man, I mean, this must be so tense. First fight. Now, the visitors are going to be in green and yellow, and the Kiwi fighters are in the black, which is good because I like black. Yeah, I like black too. It's very slimming. Wow, he is serious looking. Yeah, look at him. He's carrying a spare tie there. Uh, oh, that's not a good sign. <laughs> And here comes John Allen's opponent, Tony Tatupu. Now, uh, he's working as a cop now, so I imagine he's got really good training uh, in how to subdue people. And he almost had a smile then. It looked like he was almost enjoying himself, which could be a good sign. I mean, this is a pretty stressful time. This is the ring walk, isn't it? Yeah, it must be very off-putting walking past those cowgirls <laughs> in bikinis. Here he is trying to think, murder, murder, murder. But uh, anyway, OK, let's find out more about these two with the tail of the tape. And then you'll hear from our commentators, Cliff Brown and former super featherweight world champion, Barry Michael. John Allen versus Tony Tutupu, brought to you by The Rock. At 42, South African hooker John Bulldog Allen is four years older than Kiwi Tony Taps Tutupu, but John's a little shorter than Tony Taps. Allen represented Scotland at the 1991 Rugby World Cup, then moved to South Africa and played 13 tests for the Springboks from 93 to 96. He was part of the Natal team that contested the very first Super 12 final against the Blues at Eden Park. Allen is still active in South African rugby, helping develop the game for children and underprivileged. We're raising funds for children's cancer. I think it's fantastic. And the fact that sportsmen are prepared to get out there and put their bodies on the line is amazing. There are three of the original Warriors fighting tonight, and Tony Tatupu's one of them, running on for the first game against the Brisbane Broncos in 1995. Tony Taps has played four tests for the Kiwis and then went on to represent Samoa at the 2000 World Cup. Tatupu was in action just a few weeks ago, helping a veterans team win a game against the Aussies. Yeah, totally different to league training. Uh, just uh, two minutes, seems like 80 minutes. Chick Quattro, fight for life number six in the green, fighting for South Africa, the Tri-Nations contest tonight. It's John, the Rhino Allen, up against the boy in black, Tony Taps Tatupu. Don't forget, good right hand early on. It's all for charity tonight. Joining us, we've got former IBF super middle uh, featherweight world champion Barry Michael from Australia. Welcome, mate, for this uh, big showdown in the Tri-Nations. Clint, it's, uh, it's, it's fantastic to be here, mate. What a crowd, what an occasion. This is fantastic. And, and look, these boys are getting stuck right into it. Tony, uh, Tony Taps showing some good class here, using his reach, boxing well, looking very confident. The John the Rhino Allen. Copping a few early here in the opening minute of the first round. Don't forget, it's all for charity tonight. You've got to text B for your favourite fight if you're after the black boy. Oh, G. He's oh, hurt. Big swing. John Allen was hurt with a beautiful right cross. Text G for the guys in the green gloves. Double three, double three. All the money that you text and do over the phone tonight goes to the Child Cancer Foundation, a new charity tonight to benefit from the Chic Quattro Fight for Life. So there's the first standing count. Bring it up, bring it up. Tony Tatupu, he's the Bobby on the beat tonight. He's the Bobby in the bout. He's been working at the Auckland Central Police Station for the last three years. The former Warrior, former Warrington League player. He's up against uh, the former Springbok hooker. Originally out of Scotland. And John Allen, nice right there. Oh, the Rhino's copying the right hand. Tony, Tony taps to Tatupu, landing the right hand well in the first round. Looking very confident here. I watched him in training this week with his trainer Mark Bipp and it's all about starting fast, trying to dominate the centre of the ring. He's done boxing before, under 19s at oh. Mount Albert Rugby League and you can see he's got that lovely classical style, hasn't he? He has, he, he uses really, that reach. And he's very relaxed, very relaxed, Clint, which is, is very important there. John Allen, you know, he's the shorter, stockier guy. He needs to get his taller opponent up against the ropes and work there. But a, a big round for Tony Taps from New Zealand. And there he is, the CEO of the South African Rugby Legends, which is a charity organisation back in South Africa for this Tri-Nations contest tonight. And of course, the South Africans were more than willing to get on the plane, get over here for Dean Lonergan events to support that battle against child cancer. So don't forget to give, because he's given a lot. He's actually lost a lot of pudding as we take a look at Mark Bedford going through the corner instructions with uh, Tony Tatupu, because he reckons he started at 123 kilos, John Allen. And he's and down to 111, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he's 
he feels good that he's lost that pudding. He, he, he could lose a bit more, but I'll tell you what, a credit for these guys to be here. It's absolutely fantastic. But I'll tell you what, John Allen's going to have to close the distance up against his taller, smoother boxing opponent. He's being nailed with too many right hands. So it's uh, the it, Rhino it, up against the Tap Man. That's it, boy. That's it. That's rhino it. trying the big overhand right there. That's, here we go. Having a little bit more success this round. And most of these guys go through those fundamental basics, and you would know, mate, it's hands up, head down, stand side on, yep. try and give the opponent the smallest possible target, lead with that left jab, just like there, and follow up with the right and see what happens. He's got a few good moves, Tony Tap. So he threw the jab and then sidestepped to the right before he threw the right hand. You can see he's, oh, look at that beautiful left and right there. Good combination there, and of course, that's the key. Once you start sparring, oh. Crowd didn't like that one, one on the break. The key once you start sparring is always answer back because it takes a while for these amateurs and these rugby league and, and ex-rugby guys just to get used to being hit. Oh, for sure. You know, I've sparred with a lot of the uh, Aussie Reels footballers and, uh, you know, all the... Oh, there's that time again. He's in a lot of trouble, John Allen. Credit to him to be still on his feet. He's taken some big bombs. That's the game plan for Taps. Lead with that left. And his natural punch is the jab followed by the big right. And both both boys orthodox, and you know that means for our viewers out there, you generally right-handed lead with the left jab first, which is, is the, the main punch in boxing, and follow with the right, as you said there, Clint. But of course, being a former Springbok hooker, John the Rhino Allen's a tough customer. Oh, he's tough, all right. He's trying to get that left hook. He reckons that's his natural punch. So watch out. Goes oh. with the jab, follows it up with the right. Good combination from the South African. Good big punch is being exchanged by both boys here. Trying to get on the inside, inside that long reach of taps. Bit of blood from there. Oh, the Rhino fights back. End of round two. That's the end of round two. Former world boxing champion from Australia, Barry Michael, ringside here at Trust Daddy Mai Takari. It's the big charity fight night, raising money for a child cancer at the moment. Barry, it's got to say, it's the boy in black, Tony Taps. Good left. Yes. Leading. He's boxing well. Have good comeback there from John yeah. Allen. John Once Allen. again, a couple of good rights. John Allen fought back valiantly that round, but he was still outpointed. So the third and final round for the first of five charity fights tonight. Mark Bedford with the final corner instructions for Taps. They'll touch gloves. Crowd of about 3,500 corporates here at Trust Stadium. Just warming up as we count down to the main event. John, the king of the ring, Hopawati, against Afisa Tanu'u. Taps, what can he do now? I wouldn't be surprised if... Uh, if Tony Taps lift his, lift his pace, he can stop John Allen. John Allen, the Rhino, is very tired, breathing very, very heavily at the end of that second round. He's going to try and get inside and just work for the body, perhaps, of Taps and then tie him up like that. Have a bit of the old grab and hold, have a bit of a breather. He needs a breather. He needs to get up on top of his taller opponent. When he's up there, he, he throws some good punches. Well, his favourite boxers are Duran, Sugar Ray and Marvellous Marvellous Hat. Oh. And he got a marvellous right then. Oh. Sydney Cup, a big right hand there. The Rhino, John Allen, the Rhino is his toughest team. He's got another standing eight count, but I'll tell you what, that right hand bounced off his chin and he never batted an eyelid. Yeah, that's the thing that we all want to answer the tonight is, have they got a chin? Oh. launching big right hand from Tony Taps to Tupu. Tony Taps looking good, looking very confident, hands down, knows he's got the fight. Great one. combination again, straight through. Left and right combination, the one two. His favourite box is the Muhammad, the main man, Ali. And he's uh, putting on a bit of a classical display here tonight. The cop, it's former warrior, it's ducking. Ali against Frazier at the moment. The thriller in Manila. George uh, well, Yeah, exactly. Smoke and Joe was our guest commentator last year. Another big right hand from Tony Tatupu. John Allen just about out on his feet here, but look at him. How tough is he? He's real tough. He's copped a dozen big right hands. But of course, this is the tough, tough part of the boxing. You get to about 30 seconds to go. <laughs> it just seems like two weeks. Well, you know, Clint, you, you told me, you, you know, you were here last year and you had a first round KO, I believe, which was sensational. Yeah, a couple of years ago, mate. It was a couple a lot of years of fun. ago, okay, yeah. And big combination. Oh. John Allen staggered. I'll tell you what. Right on the bell, nails the South African again. 
Wow, he did well to last the distance. John Allen. Tonight we're ringside, Clint Brown and Barry Michael. And the first fight tonight, Tony Taps to Tupu, the man in black up against John, the Rhino Allen, the guy in green. And Barry, you got to say, it's a good decision, hopefully in the way of the black corner. Oh, de definitely, uh, the Kiwi boy won it well here. But uh, look, give, give the South African credit. He, he really took some big punches and walked up all the way through the bout. Tony Tupu just using that at reach advantage, going with the left, following it up with the big right. Good comeback here from John Allen in the second round. Started to find his range. That's the hardest part, too, when you're just boxing for the first time, is to actually take a punch and give it back. Great combinations here. Exactly the game plan from uh, Tony Taps to Tupu. Just go with the left, go with the right, back it up, follow it up, answer back. And booyah, rock and roll. Let's get the call on the first bout. Ladies and gentlemen, the judges have made a decision... Judges Pat Leonard, Bob Gibson and Carrick Belton have awarded a unanimous decision in favour of the black singer Tony Taps Tatupu. Tony, if we could have a quick word. Well, Tony, you trained the house down your very first fights. You showed the long arm of the law tonight. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, uh, it's a great occasion. Thanks first to uh, John. Got an stallion effort, mate. Uh, it's my corner. Mark uh, Bedford, awesome, mate. Thanks for uh, putting me for this last training session. Uh, my family, my whole horse, Chief, uh, special family, and of course the man above. But uh, yeah, great uh, cause to be uh, contributing to. So, yeah, that's why we're here. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of fight one, Tony Taps to Tupu. Hi, my name is Max, and I'm six years old.